I give the floor to the International Service for Human Rights. Madam President, as Palestinian human rights defenders, we've long maintained that Israel imposes an institutionalized system of racial oppression and domination on both sides of the Green Line. The last two months have shown, again, that while the manifestations and tools may vary, the objective of maintaining this regime is one. This regime is carried out in the context of a prolonged military occupation and a wider settler colonial regime that has sought to strategically fragment and isolate the Palestinian people. The general strike led by Palestinians on both sides of the Green Line on the 17th of May, joined also by Palestinian refugees in the diaspora, articulated Palestinians' collective resistance to this regime. To quell this resistance, Israel has resorted to mass arrests and a campaign of intimidation, including against HRDs within the Green Line, in Jerusalem, and in the West Bank. All this happens while the closure on the Gaza Strip enters its 15th year, a period during which Israel has launched four wars on the Strip, systematically and deliberately flouting international humanitarian law by targeting civilians and civilian infrastructure. We therefore urge this Council to recognize that Israel is practicing the crime of apartheid against the entirety of the Palestinian people and support the resolution establishing an ongoing commission of inquiry.